Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Beauty here and today we're going to do a first impression and review of this foundation here. So it's the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow and I have this in colour 201. So it claims that it's got a radiant finish, I wear up to 24 hours. Who wears their makeup that long? I don't know. Uh, and coverage is medium and texture is air light so it's just saying pro tip shake well dawn to skin and rolling motion for flawless coverage so i've been wanting to try this foundation for quite a while it came out in america it must have been about a year or two ago and i've been waiting for it to come out to the uk and can't find it anywhere so i had to order it from america which is kind of annoying but i really really wanted to try it because i do love a kind of glowy skin so what i'm going to do is just Moisturise before I start, so I'm just using my Simple Rich Replenishing Simple Replenishing Rich Moisturiser, just this one, as I always do before I put on my makeup. So I thought today would be a good time to try this foundation because my skin isn't looking its best. As you can see, like down here, it's just acting up a little bit so that must be a good day to try and see how much it covers so first i'm going to prime i'm going to just prime half of my face as always i'm just using this primer here which is the baby skin and i just like to prime half my face just so that we can see how the foundation is with and without primer so you can get this foundation for 12 pounds on amazon um, I'm not sure how much it retails for in America. Still annoying, I wish they would just bring it to the UK so we can get it in like Super Jog or Boots or something, that'd be a lot easier. So there's 12 shades in this foundation, which isn't the best. Um, hopefully they bring in more shades. So I got this colour here, which is 201 Classic Ivory. I think it may be a little bit too dark, but we'll see. So I'm going to just start applying this. As I'm pouring it on, it's like really, really runny. So it's a little bit messy because it is so runny, so just be careful about that. So I'm going to just dot this around my face. So I think the colour may be a little bit too dark, but because obviously I can't go into the shops, just watch it, just watch the colour. So I had to just kind of guess what colour it was. But I'm going to just use this brush here and I'm going to just blend this in. So far the coverage is actually quite decent. And it's covering up my breakouts pretty good and my redness. I'll just add a tiny bit more, just the excess on my hand. Just the areas that need a little bit more coverage. Get all close and personal with you guys. All up in your grill. So that's the foundation blended in. So first impression so far is that it's... I'm liking the coverage, especially for during the day. My skin looks really healthy actually with that glow. As you guys can see, like a little disco ball here. The coverage is actually really good. It's covering most of my redness. There's tiny bits of redness peeking out, but I quite like that actually. I think it makes it look a little bit more lifelike. The colour is pretty good. I'm really liking how it looks on my skin. And as you guys seen before, I had a lot of breakouts down here. You can still see them. Um, but they do cover them quite well. I'm actually really liking how this is looking. Obviously, I used a brush, so I'll probably get a little bit more coverage than if I used a beauty blender. I'm trying to like, see if there's a difference between the primed and the unprimed side. But so far, I can't um, tell a difference. I think my skin looks just nice and healthy and radiant, which is really good for winter for me personally because. I have dry skin, I say this every video, but yeah, I have dry skin, so I love a little bit of glow. Now the foundation's on, I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on. I'm going to use this one here, which is the Lasting Perfection Collection 2000 Concealer. Just to brighten her face up a little bit. It's torrential rain here in Scotland, shocker, I know. But we'll see how the foundation lasts through the rain. I don't know about you guys but so far I'm really really liking the way this is looking. I think for maybe like a night out I would maybe add a little bit more of a high coverage foundation and mix them together. I feel like that would look really really nice. Maybe a little bit of Estee Lauder in there. Right now I'm going to just set, I'm just going to use my RCME as always. 
why this powder is probably the most annoying, like packaging wise. Right, so what I'm going to do is just set the under eye. Everywhere we're at, use the concealer to highlight. There is still a slight glowiness to the face, which I do like. But so far, it's looking really good. So I'm going to go and bronze and finish off my makeup. And I'll back in a little second. Hi guys, this is me back. I finished my makeup. I put my bronzer and stuff on. And so far, I'm really, really, really liking this foundation. It's covered my redness. It's covered my spots, mostly. And it just looks really, really healthy. I like that there's still a glow, even though that I have... Um, powdered my face but yeah so far I'm really really liking it price is pretty good obviously it's drugstore colour match to me is okay but there's only 12 shades so I think that needs to change I sprinkle some more out I covered it I really like I finish I like the annoying thing is they obviously don't um they're not unlike the drugstore in the UK which is annoying um, but yes, yeah, so far I'm really really liking it. I think this is probably going to turn into my daily kind of foundation because I really like how it's sitting on the skin. And it's lasted actually really really well. It's been a couple of hours now. I'm going to go out now and I'll be out for a couple of hours. Going to the cinema, going to get dinner and I'll be out in the Scottish torrential rain. So we'll see if the foundation really 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 like lasts. Hopefully it does because so far it's a really really big thumbs up. But we will see, that could change. Um, so far I'm not telling a difference between the primed and unprimed side. Both are looking just as good. I will be back in a little second, i.e. like 8 hours or something like that. And I'll let you guys know my final impression. Right guys, this is me back 5 to 11. Makeup has been on for like 11 hours or something like that. Obviously my lipstick's like completely gone. And my eyes look all tired. So looking at it from here, I'm really liking it still. So it still has all of its coverage on most places. I know that, um, like here, you can see my breakout is like a bit more than you could earlier, but there's still pretty good coverage for being like this long. My skin is looking really glowy. I do like that, but I've got a feeling that if you've got really oily skin, I really don't think this foundation is going to um, work well with that. Try to see if there's a difference between the primed and unprimed side. I think my pores are slightly less visible on this side, which is the primed side, but there's not too much difference to be honest. It's not a uh, sun cutting my dry patches. It's faded slightly in certain areas, like here. But just very, very slightly, what you would expect for being on so long. Plus, I've been out in the rain. Went for dinner, I um, was in the cinema. I would expect uh, makeup to fade a lot more than it has. So this is how it is looking. Coverage wise, still really good. It's not oxidised at all. No. I'm going to give this um, foundation 100% a thumbs up. Um, it's lasted a really long time um, in comparison to a lot of foundations that I have tried. I feel like this is a really good one for the winter, especially give my skin like a little bit of like kind of glowiness to it. Mm. Try to think of the negatives. So it has slightly faded and I do have little bits of oil like kind of around this area. Like the centre of my face like tiny, tiny, tiny minuscule amount. But I don't even mind that, it just kind of looks glowy to me. 100% thumbs up. Um, so pros, it's good, good coverage, it's long lasting, I like the finish, it's affordable, the colour does match me good and the cons are obviously the shade range, um, the, like the fact that you can't get it in the UK unless you get it from Amazon. So this is it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, hopefully I kind of helped you decide whether you're going to get it or not and hopefully if you do get it, it works just as good for you as it did for me. I've got a feeling this might start to be... Uh, one of my new kind of workwear foundations but we'll see so thanks a lot for watching guys give this video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy and i will see you guys in my next video bye